The council president and candidate for mayor Ben Stucker released his plan to change the criminal justice system in Spokane, and other candidates are weighing in. KXLY4's Caroline Rourke shares the details. Aaron, Ben Stuckert says the first thing he would do is to make community court a permanent part of our city's criminal justice system. That's one of two parts of a plan with this overall goal, consolidate municipal court services. Right now, the city of Spokane is paying between four and five million dollars each year to house municipal court staff and those convicted of misdemeanors. The public defenders are in a, their own building and the prosecutors are in a different building and the probation department is in a different area and then the municipal court judges lease space from the county and then when we send our prisoners they go to the county jail and we pay the county jail over 120 dollars a day for each night that they're staying there city council president and mayoral candidate ben stuckert says for the same amount of money there's a better way so we can make the system better by combining all those services into one building without costing us a cent his proposed new municipal jail building would house courtrooms, attorneys, probation officers, and beds. He says it'll make the court process more efficient, and it will keep people out of the crowded county jail that don't need to be there. Somebody that's committing a quality of life crime doesn't necessarily need to be in the county jail. They may need programming, or they may need to be in jail, but we can have jail cells and beds. It doesn't have to be as secure as the county jail is right now. We reached out to the rest of the mayoral field for their reactions. On the phone, Kelly Cruz said he didn't think this is the best way to address jail overcrowding, and he thinks it's going to cost more than estimated. He told me he does favor a new intake building that would fast-track defendants to services they might need. In a statement, Nadine Woodward said in part, for four years, Ben has presided over a city council majority that could have implemented this proposal. If he believes that this plan is the right path for Spokane's municipal court, he should be promoting it to the other members of the council, not using it as a political talking point. As of right now, we have not heard back from Sean Poole or Jonathan Bingle. If we do, we will add their comments to this story on our website. You can find all of that on KXOY.com. In Spokane, I'm Caroline Rourke, KXOY4 News.